Hey there, Chelsea here, Monarch Alley. I'm a vintage lover, thrifter, and part-time reseller, and today I have a garage sale haul. Uh, I'm really excited because this is my first uh, garage sale of the season of the year 2021. It's very exciting because garage sales are great. You can get really great deals. You can find really unique items. Um, sometimes it's like old things that have been in someone's family for a long time. That's like vintage stuff. I love finding at garage sales. It doesn't get any better. Um, but yeah, so I had my first garage sale. I just happened to drive past when I was like actually on the way to the store to get some bubble wrap of all things. Um, and so I had a limited amount of time. So I went ahead and popped in. I had cash on me. I was prepared. And I'm glad because they had multiple clothing racks out in their driveway. It was a beautiful day. And I got some great goodies here today. So this is going to be all women's clothing. Um, I think they had like a trendy college daughter or something. It was definitely like the older parents that were hosting the sale. But uh, I, there's a lot of like juniors or like trendy college girl clothes in this haul. So I was really excited. One disappointing thing was there was definitely two women there shopping that had probably been there for a little bit before me and they had just like arms, their arms full of clothing. I'm like, oh, what did they get? What did they get? Um, but I found some good brands and I'm really happy to show it off to you today. Okay, so the first thing I'll share is I got a couple Madewell pieces. Um, this is just a really cute uh, t-shirt, like a striped t-shirt. It's really kind of a lightweight material. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but like it's, I don't know what that, it's just cotton, but it's a nice lightweight material. And I love the little tie front there. Bloop. Um, and this is Madewell Texture and Thread. It's a size medium. I don't know what texture and thread means. So if you know anything about that, feel free to share. Um, I have a feeling it means like it's a more casual line or something like that. Um, but I anticipate getting about, I don't know, 10 or 15 for it. Like it's honestly a t-shirt, so who knows? Um, oh, I think I forgot to say my cost of goods. I have, uh, everything I paid $2 for was my average for the sale. So I'm really happy with that. <laughs> okay. So this is a Madewell dress. This dress is so cute. Let me see if I can back it up. It is a mini dress. It has like these side cutouts and it has, um, what do you call that? Like a laser cut design all throughout it. Very, very cute red dress um, with a zip back, zip back. And y'all, it has pockets. You know I gotta brag on that. Boop. Boom, pockets. So this is a Madewell size two dress um, that I anticipate selling for about $30 or so. Comps look decent on it. Um, you know, really all of this stuff is so fun to get everything for such a low cost of goods. Like honestly, if I just got $10 for every item, I'd make $200 when I only spent 20, um, or actually not even that I spent 18, I think. So if you can imagine like even getting 15 or 20 for some of these items, like gosh, sales are so great. Next, I have an Athleta sweater, and I've never seen an Athleta piece like this. Uh, the front is much more like a typical kind of sweatshirt material, but then the back is this cable knit back. It is merino wool. It is kind of heavy, um, really warm. It says it's a size small. I will show you there, the tag. Um, but I think it's oversized because it just, yeah. Like I'm typically a medium and it looks like cozy, big and cozy on me. So yeah, I'm going to list it as such oversized and share the measurements on that. Just, I think, I think the people will want to know. They will want to know. Next I have a Vineyard Vines long sleeve tee. Um, this is like a really pretty, like kind of faded lavender color. Uh, let's see here. It's probably a size small. Oh, so this is extra large. So does that mean youth perhaps because it, oh yeah, it says extra large 18. So this is like a youth extra large. It's got just the classic whale on the back and the whale in the pocket. Um, probably 15 bucks for this max, but I just love like, I don't know. I think these tees are so cozy and I love selling them when I find them. Um, so yeah, vineyard vines. Do you pick up vineyard vines? I have um, like a couple kids vineyard vines pieces in my closet right now that are totally just sitting. So maybe that was a bad pickup, but maybe I could list it as a women's extra small. I don't know. I'd love to have your thoughts on that. All right, next, now we're getting into bottoms. Um, so I found these sassy <laughs> jeans. Um, these are bullhead denim. So bullhead denim, is that from, um, hello, words, the store, buckle. <laughs> is that from buckle, bullhead denim? Um, I loved just the shorty short cutoff design and the like flag situation going on here. So these are a high rise short. So that's always great too. Size 26, high rise. 
another high rise item. These are so cute. These are cabbie jeans. Um, I might be keeping these because uh, they have like a really cute cutoff going on as well. I love like the stripe, the lighter colored denim stripe on the side and on the back pocket. And yeah, so these are cabbie jeans. They're a size two. So womp womp. I guess I won't be keeping them. Oh wait, cabbie has vanity sizing, right? So a cabbie size two. Or am I thinking of Chico's? Y'all, I'm lost today. I am lost. So I might have to size these out. I think they're just a regular two. Anyway, they're so cute and I think they'll make someone really happy. And you know, as the season warms up, it's gonna be fun to start selling some shorts. You know what I'm always on the lookout for, which I didn't find at this sale? Vintage Levi shorts. I 100% love selling them. Now, if I find vintage Levi's, I don't cut them into shorts. That's just me. You do you, let me know like what you do if I'm missing out on big money. But I'm scared to cut them into shorts because I feel like people might want like the mom jeans or whatever. But if I find them already cut off, great. But even Levi's, like vintage Levi's jean shorts or jorts, as you might like to call them, uh, they sell so quickly and for like, you know, 30 bucks or something like that. I love them. So I'm on the lookout always for those. Okay, next I have this newest tag, Honey Punch uh, denim skirt. This is kind of funky. I don't really know. There's a shadow there. It is not have a stain. Um, I don't know what this style is all about. It's got like a higher waist going on or a high rise. It does have a belt here so it can have like a little cinched effect. Let's see what we have going on. I don't know. It makes me think of something I would have worn to school like in third grade in the 90s. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know anything about this brand Honey Punch but I just thought it was really cute and it was nice to see it. Um, oh, so I guess it's Nordstrom Rack. So there's a $30 price tag there. That's fine with me. Once again, I picked it up for $2. Super cute little denim skirt. Um, so maybe I'll get like 20 or 30 for it. Who knows? All right. Oh, these jeans I thought were so cool. Um, I love the like lighter wash on them. The fact that they feel like real jeans. I don't know how to describe that, but like so many jeans with all the synthetic materials, just like they feel different, right? They're stretchy. And these just feel like Levi's. They feel like real jeans. And they have these cool black stars all over them. Skinny leg. So these are um, Blank NYC, which I didn't realize was such an expensive brand. Y'all, I gotta work on my jeans brands. So these are size 27. Um, I saw them online, like the original retail price being like $178 or something like that. So who knows what I'll get for them, but maybe 40 or 50. And uh, they got the stars even on the back a little bit. These are so cool. I'm very, very into these. Very, very into these. Yeah, so for $2, that's pretty good. My Goodwill usually sells jeans for like $6 or so. It seems to be their kind of average. So I feel really good about that. And it's a new to me brand. So hey, I get to experiment a little bit. All right, and then I have these Lululemon, um, just classic black leggings. Um, they have like, you know, the skinnier kind of leg, full length, not cropped. And let me see if I can find you the, pr the price tag, the size tag. Okay, so their size, oops, is it showing? Four, their size four. And I found that by peeking into the little key pocket or money pocket that they have there. So yeah, just always great to find those, especially for $2 um, at, the, <laughs> at the garage sale. You, you know, after I found this, I like looked through all their active wear, <laughs> which I didn't really find anything else, obviously, but um, that's the end of my haul today. I'm really excited with what I got. Um, I wish I would have found more Lululemon, but I love the Athleta sweatshirt sweater combo. I think that's very cool. I have a lot of good denim, uh, the dress, some summery stuff. So once again, I spent $18 at this garage sale and I will make definitely over 200 on these items. So I am so excited about that flip. And it was so fun, like I said, to get to go out, source, you know, more locally um, and find some unique items. So let me know if you are the garage sale sort of person, if that's something you enjoy doing or a way that you enjoy sourcing. I'm very curious to hear about it. And also if you have any tips on just getting up early on Saturday mornings to get out there and get to those garage sales, I will take those because woo, I am leisurely on the weekend mornings. <laughs> all right, friends. So that's all I have for you today. I appreciate you so much. Um, be sure to, you know, drop the comments below, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram where I'll probably share the stories of some of these pieces as they sell. And I appreciate you all so much. Have a good day. Bye.